signal call on the cell. That'll probably be easier. We'll probably have a little better connection that way too. Hey guys, there we go. Yeah, Sean's on that. All right, now um, let me let me let me kind of repeat this question. Um, so you know, you got started a month ago, and, and you, you kind of come in with this sort of preset idea of how it's going to work. The same the same way we did with this, you know, podcast. You're kind of you know, Fritz and I have been talking about it, and then at, at a certain point, you're just like, you know, as of Friday, we're on, we're live, you know, and it was originally Wednesday Wednesdays, and we've switched it, but. Uh, with your uh, with your adventure, I mean, you started off with you know an F one fifty, a box full of stuff that you thought you needed, and then from that you've kind of evolved. And we talked a little bit about this. Now you've got you had to buy an F two fifty, and then you had you got your truck wrapped, and then you know you 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 started with the concept of doing um, let's say twenty meetings a week, and it's kind of worked out to ten meetings a week. Um, with the drop-ins and then you know maybe you know my, my thought initially was like well why don't we have you know I would get somebody to do uh, calls for you and schedule the appointments for you to be honest with you um, but uh, de 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 describe how this this uh, month month on the road month and a half on the road has been on a learning experience for you and what what have you learned and changes you've made yeah, so so a couple couple big takeaways for me um, is I, I realized I needed a lot a lot less than we were talking about before. It's like I need a lot less than what when we initially packed and put everything on there. Oh, we have to have all these must have items, and we've kind of realized that you know if we haven't used it in the first month, uh, it, you know it's just it's just taking up space that we really don't have. You know, it's limited to begin with. So we're kind of losing some of those items that. You know, you thought you needed, but but you know you don't need. Um, it's probably one of the biggest things that that I've taken away from this though is you, you just can't over plan something. I mean, you can sit there and you can plan it to death, and at some level, you're better off just executing a solid plan, but not the perfect plan that's only maybe say seventy percent effective, than working on it for three months more to make it eighty percent effective. But you're not picking up picking up enough for it to make a difference, right? So I think at some level, I think it was really good to just have kind of a go date and say, "Hey, as of as of January fifteenth, like we're just leaving. Like that's just that's just how it goes. And and, and you, we'll learn it on the road, or we'll I'll order it when we need it. And just to kind of do that and put yourself in that situation." is what you have to do at the end of the day you can plan yourself to failure essentially yeah and, so, and, I, and, I, and i think and fritz you want to piggyback because fritz is an artist too and if you guys see some of the paintings back here we have some i got some at my house and if you can see some of them over here um but uh I, I think a lot of it you know to your point sean is you overthink it but i feel like sometimes people don't have um an accurate idea of who they are already meaning like you know, you you've been in lending for you know, what 10, 15 years, right? Yeah, um, I've, been, I've been with with Eland for for fifteen. So when we look at it just that, that a few yeah, years fifteen that, years, right? right? You know everything there is to know about loans. You've been on the road. You've done trips before. So just your initial like, if you didn't have anything planned, and just got in your car one day, is pretty good, right? Yeah, like I, I mean, have a good base. I have a good baseline. Yeah, you have a good base. Everything. And I think it's like one of those things to where it's like, you know, I talked to Fritz about this. You know, all the stuff we've had for this show, I didn't, we didn't have to buy anything for the show. We had the lights. Mm -hmm. We had the, the, the microphones. We had the backdrops. We had all this stuff. We just weren't utilizing the skills we already have. That's right. Right? And it's like, I don't know what is something where you realistically have to come up with a plan or is it just organizing what you already have to something where it's more effective, right? You know what I mean? Like, like, because it's not like you, you know, Sean, you really had to change much, right? You're you're sort of going out and selling the stuff you've been selling for the last ten years, you know, on the road or on the phone. And yeah, I, I think it's really, I, I think it's really just a matter of immersing yourself in something. Um, I, I think anybody that's doing whatever job that they have for any any length of time, so at least you have some sort of semblance of a foundation of of your job. Your goal is just to say, I'm going to put, and people say it all the time, I'm going to put 100% into this. Well, are you really? Right? Is, is, is this 100% or 
I can tell you when you're driving your truck that's wrapped like a big commercial and you're and right now I'm driving down the road and I'm towing my home I'm fully immersed in this situation I mean there's yeah. no there's no sugarcoating it right everything I own currently is is on you know 10 wheels and driving down the road at 64 miles an hour so it's like that's just full immersion in in what you're looking to do and you know, and you learn a lot about not only yourself or your own knowledge of the product. Um, I, one of the big takeaways that I've had too is I've, I have a whole new respect for the employees that I left back at the office. Um, you know, for for me, part of my concern was taking the trip. Is oh, I'm going to be out of the office. I'm not going to be accessible. Are they going to be able to get the questions answered? This and that. And and you know what? We we just have some amazing staff members that just stepped up and said, "Hey, I I got this. You go you go do what you have to do because." We need the business to come in so we can be fruitful and we we can uh, you know continue to grow. And uh, to me, that's just exciting from not only from a management standpoint, um, but also just to see people 